Hey everyone, in this video, we're going to look at three different ways to write a basic addition function in JavaScript. We'll cover function declarations, function expressions, and the ever popular arrow function. Let's start with a function declaration. This is the classic way to define a function in JavaScript. So first we're going to call this function with the parameters two and three. Notice how I have called the function before even declaring it. That is correct. Function declarations can be called even before they are defined in JavaScript. We start with the keyword function, followed by the function name, add number declaration. It takes two arguments, x and y. Inside the function, we'll use console.log to display the sum of x and y in the console. We are using template literals here for better readability, more on them in our next video. And that's it, the function has already been called with parameters 2 and 30. Next up is a function expression. Here, we're assigning a function to a constant variable, add number xp. Let's define it similarly, taking x and y as inputs. Again, this function is going to log to the console the sum of x and y. It's essentially the same logic as before, but structured a bit differently. Now we can call add number xp with say 1 and 2 to test it out. Finally, let's explore arrow functions. This is a more concise syntax. I'll assign an arrow function to the variable add number arrow. See that? This function follows the same addition principle. I'll call the function with the numbers 2 and 4 and see the output in the console. All right, let's take a look at the console. As you can see, each of the functions are working as expected. Sum of numbers is 5, 3, and 6. So, we covered three different ways to write simple addition functions in JavaScript. Function declarations are the most traditional, function expressions offer flexibility, and arrow functions are nice and compact. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.